Hello everyone, Monofa Collectibles here with yet another Hot Toys unboxing and review video. And today we'll take a look at Stormtrooper Squad Leader from The Mandalorian. Guys, I'm so excited to have this figure in my collection so I can wait to show you all the details. But before we start, if you are new to the channel and you want to check out the latest Hot Toys releases, posting videos and live streams, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification icon so you don't miss anything. Alright guys, enough with the talking, let's start with the unboxing, so without further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, and here we have the box, and as you can see we have a picture of the squad leader in the front with the banner here at the bottom. This is the side, Stone Trooper squad leader. This is the back with all the cross and warning small pieces, do not eat it. This is the other side of the box with a very nice picture of the Stone Trooper here. Bottom, Star Wars. Last but not least, the top, Star Wars. All right, so now let me open this up and see what else we have in this box here. And as you can see, the first thing is a very awesome insert art. And as you can see, we have the Commander Trooper or the Squad Leader. I don't know, I'm confused. You get the idea. And of course, the figure in the packaging. So let me open this up. And the first thing, guys, brand new smell of a Hot Toys. And this is my favorite part of this unboxing. Let me remove the plastic here. You have the, you see the trooper, you see the blasters, you see the base, which yes, I'm gonna talk about it later in the video. And that's basically it. All right guys, so now let's take a closer look at the accessories. And here we have all the accessories. And yes, yes, yes. Reuse base with some green color. That's not gonna do it, same thing. Stone Trooper Squad Leader, Stone Trooper Commander. I'm confused. I don't know what this is. It's a trooper. That's all I know. You see the bottom of the base, and yeah, that's basically it for this. With the same, pretty much style as the previous bases. Then we have this awesome rifle, and I kind of like this one. You see a very nice paint application with this metallic silver here. You can see the side very nicely done, and of course the top. Love the paint application on this one, especially the front and the other side with the straps. And you, what the hell is this? Okay, so we have a little red piece here, and of course, the top of this really cool blaster. Then we have this piece here, which is magnetic, and I guess this is like a bomb or something that uh, the trooper uses in the back. Now, before it used to have some little hooks, but now it is magnetic, so that's a huge plus. Then we have this classic blaster, which is consistent with every stone trooper here we have some gimmick here and now for some reason you cannot pull this down but you can move the piece in the front nice pen application on the side you can see here with this metallic color so i'm very happy with this and last but not least we have five hands so i'm going to show you two so you get the idea nasa sculpted again similar to previous stone trooper figures so really nothing new in this area all right guys and over this Let's take a closer look at the figure. All right, and here we have the Commander Trooper. And let me tell you guys, I like it. I love this orange uh, pauldron here. Now let me get my tape and see how tall this figure actually is. And he is about 12 and a bit inches tall. All right, taking a closer look at the figure itself, we can appreciate the details. And yes, doesn't have a lot of details because it is a Stone Trooper, but you get the idea. You see the helmet here. This is the bag with this gray color here and some weathering at the bottom, I think. Maybe because of the light you cannot see it, but yes, trust me, it is there. You're going to see the weathering at the bottom. This is the top of the helmet, very clean. And of course, this really cool pauldron here. Just be careful with those little buttons there because for some reason, if you do some articulation or maybe you do some poses, you might you know, fall off and you don't want to do that. You can see the armor here, the belt looking good with some weather in there. You can see the, yeah, <laughs> you can see the hands as well. Nicely done. Very similar to the Rogue One Stone Trooper, if you ask me. Then you can see the legs with some weathering as well. So really not that bad, especially at the bottom of the feet. And of course, the bottom with the Hot Toys logo there. This is the side, more weathering on the side. 
this is the back and you can see that they put some weathering as well on the inside suit which is good now this is the belt and again this little piece here is magnetic so you can put the little bump and of course the back which i kind of like it to be honest with you you see that there and that's basically it for the articulation you can move the head up and down this much to the sides that much not bad you can move this piece up and down and of course lift the arm for about this much forward for about this much not bad and back for about this much not bad now you can bend the elbow almost double joints but that because of the armor classic pre articulation on the hand now for the torso we have a little bit of swivel and a little bit of up crunch because again the suit and the armor you can uh, do a split for about this much some swivel on the thighs lift the forward for about this much and back very limited because of the armor now you can bend the knee double joint not bad at all again the armor and the peg articulation on the feet so that's good for poses all right guys so now let's take a closer look at the comparison here we have the trooper and the short trooper and let me tell you they look fantastic together now for the next one i have to include one of my favorites in my collection yes the capture trooper and or the flame trooper if you will and last but not least one of my favorites as well the remnant trooper and let me tell you this guy looks amazing especially with that weathering all right guys enough with this let's do some poses
right guys, my final thoughts about this figure is actually very positive. Starting with the likeness, I think this is a really good representation of the Commando Trooper or Squad Leader Trooper as seen in the Mandalorian show. I really like the armor, I think more weathering would have been nice, but again, I'm very happy with the overall look. Now, this figure doesn't come with a lot of accessories, you only get the two rifles or blasters, if you will, a few hands, and of course, the same boring base, which again, this is the same thing over and over again. Now, the articulation is actually pretty decent. You can do some really cool poses, but again, because it is a trooper, there, you know, it has some limitations. And because of that, my final score is 8.5 out of 10. And if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, guys, if you want to become a member of the channel, please do so. We have awesome shows for members only, especially figures with friends. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and Facebook group 6 Skill Media for anything related. Once the skill figures, both links in the description below. And if you have some time, check out these two cool videos. And as always, be well and see you around in the next video.